Welcome back to All The Mods 9. Uh, we have some tasks today. I wrote these down right at the end of the episode just because I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget. We need brine. We also need to make more uranium seeds and we're going to make the fission reactor big. That's right, we're going to make that thing big. Let me put on this Invisa suit because it doesn't work with shaders. And since it's... uh. Almost nighttime, we'll just go ahead and go to sleep. You know, I've been thinking about removing this, but that that nice mushroom enderman placed it. Oh, man, it's the freaking blood moon. We can't even go to bed. Okay, we were gonna make... Well, first, we need more brine, and that's gonna be the main thing that we need. Do we have steel? We have plenty of steel, okay? We are gonna need a bunch of these. We're gonna need a bunch of these, so... I'm going to make some, and we'll probably just put our armor in here. Oh, we have four more of those. Neat. So we're going to need these. Put that dark block away. Grab all of this out. We're going to probably make two more of these. I hope that will be enough. And I need to figure out which way I'm going to do this. I also am going to need more deep slate of that cut deep slate. This right, y'all? Um, let's just put all this in here for now. I need the space. And we'll probably need more of this too. So I'm going to make more of that. Because we probably need more of it. Um, what do we want to do here? We have enough of those, but we're going to need more. We're going to need a couple of these interfaces. Let's make those. Put those in there. We're going to need six of these. Let's grab those. And we had the deep slate. I'm going to make a mason table out here because this is what we were using um, anyway to craft those deep slate blocks. So I'm just going to put one over here because it's a pain in the butt. to have to go back home to grab some of this. Let's just place this right here. What the hell? This is not it. Is it? Oh, it's just been updated. Well, this is much better. What the hell? This is so much better. How do I tell it I want it? Uh... How do I, how do I get it? Oh, I just clicked that button. Okay, then. Uh, probably want to go outward more this way. Is that all of it that I had? Yes. Dang it. All right, we need more deep sleep. Okay, if you hold shift, you can do all of them at once. Well, that's cool. I need to open up the chunk board out. Hopefully I have enough. Yeah, we got the whole chunk. But look at that, it's just floating. Uh, we need to then... Oh, we already have this claimed. Well, let's chunk load it. Okay. We're going to need not to throw my building wand. We're going to need two more sinks. And we're going to need resistive heaters. And we're going to need thermodynamic conductors. All right. We have more. Are you producing, Max? You are. And you are. And are we making more brine? Then we're losing. Well, I'll be damned. It looks like we are. Hell yeah. Gonna get a hell yeah. Hell yeah. I think I've done that in the, like the last three episodes. <laughs> oh man. How are you doing? Oh, that's right. I need to move this since we're dumping a bunch of power. Are you producing power? You are. Okay. Um, Since we're dumping power now, we don't really need to dump it on here. Well, we'll put it at negative 99 and what we can do instead is put a cable between this so do that right then we have this going as normal at 200 million or whatever why aren't you know you can you can do 200 million but do we just not need to um okay well to go back to what i was gonna say now for the point what we need to do is so we can still keep that energy trash can here with this point but we'll have it at priority negative 99 um, but over here what we'll do is we will also put this in on on the input um and we'll make this 200 million as well we're going to tell this to bypass the limit and we'll put this at negative 10 instead so whenever we are running out of power or oh this cable was limiting how much power, I think. Yeah. Dang it. Um, 
cable. Is there... We need like ultra duper super duper fast cables with no limit. Yeah, the, all these suck. Well, um, well, instead of that then, I'm just going to put this on here. And we'll tell it to bypass the limit. So any extra energy we're getting that needs to go in there will go in there. Is this full now? Yep, it filled up. Okay. And we'll do the same on this side, I suppose. So we're not running out. We'll do input priority minus 10. We'll just do uh, 200 million. We'll bypass the limit on here too. And no, we won't. Because if we bypass that limit, then it's just going to drain all of our power. So we won't do that, but we'll leave it at 200 million. So when we do have extra power coming in that we can't store, it'll just immediately go up to here. Um, instead of outputting all of the stuff that we have in here. All right, sweet. Well, to go back to the sign, we resolved line one. Now we need to make some energy seeds or not energy. What? What? I wish you could make energy seeds. You need to make uranium seeds. So I'm just going to grab a stack of this and then we need I'm just going to grab all of these. And I believe it was the blue of these. Yeah. So now we can do this. And unfortunately, I don't think there's a good way to auto craft this. I do have a way in my head. I do have an idea of a way, um, but I don't really want to do it. So what I'm thinking, I'll go ahead and say what my idea is. Uh, I have two potential ideas. One would be putting each crafter on these uh, or next to them, but I don't believe they can output like that. So what I would do instead is put a bunch of, or put a couple of modular routers here and have them put like the place uh, upgrade in them. And that would allow them to put items on these things. And then we would have one crafter that all of those things, or the crafter would push um, from its recipe to the modular router into its buffer. And then the modular router would then output to these. We'd send a redstone signal to turn this thing on. And then we'd send them to a chest and send that back to the network. I think that would work but I'm unsure. If you guys do have a better way, feel free to let me know your idea in the comments because as we've discussed plenty of times before, there's so many different ways to do so many things on here. So it's always awesome to hear other people's ideas. Oh, and also another thing, uh, I have been thinking about, as well as other people have mentioned, if I should do live streams of this world. Now, that wouldn't mean that the videos would stop. It would just mean that if you wanted to watch me play live and see all of the, like, thinking process in between the edits, um, you know, all the stuff we cut out. Because to put it in perspective, last episode was, what, like, 38, 39 minutes? That was a whole... Wow, we made too many seats. That was a whole three hours of footage that did not um, get published just because of the whole thought process and everything that went into it. So... Yeah, there is quite a bit that is not shown, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because a lot of this stuff can be quite quite boring. But if it is something that you guys are interested in, then do let me know. I wouldn't mind doing live streams. It's just uh, we would still be putting the videos out. But if I were to do live streams, the videos might slow down. So right now we're doing like three or a video every three days we then might shift to four every four days, just adding an extra day in between there. So we can do the live stream um, and then edit the videos. So we'd like do a live stream, three days later a video would come out, do a live stream, three days later a video would come out. So it would be a four day schedule. Live stream, three days, live stream, three days. Or sorry, is that correct? Yeah, live stream, three days break, then live stream, three days break, and within that break, the video would be edited and posted. So let me know if that uh, sounds interesting to you. I also play other games. Um, I know right now, primarily, we're doing Minecraft. Uh, but I do play Lethal Company. I do play a little bit of League of Legends. But I don't play enough of that to, to post it anymore. I used to play a ton of it, but not now. I'm, I'm on the outs on that. I've also been playing Helldivers recently. I play a lot of FPS games. I love to play survival games like Minecraft, Terraria, 
any game any game that's survival craft i've probably played so and if we do keep producing content on youtube i'm definitely going to probably start live streaming at some point just because i'd like to get to know all of you folks better um any of you who are genuinely interested in learning more about me as a person and for those of you not that's totally cool i understand i mean i've got i've got a pretty decent minecraft series you know what i'm saying you can just watch that <laughs> but for those who are genuinely interested in learning more about me other than just consuming the content that i'm creating let me know uh i will use that as a guide for if i should start live streaming okay all right let's uh continue with things and stop talking about that <laughs> Uranium seeds are done. If you guys saw, uh, I was checking. We are now positive on our uranium um, intake. So it's going up, which is very good. Because I think we have, I believe we have two over here outputting fully. Three. We have three outputting here. So it's really good that we are matched up. Oh, and we're full here. This is, oh, we're bottlenecked on fluorite, are we? What's bottlenecked here? Oh, you son of a gun. This thing broke my system. Oh, would you look at that, you freaking punk. You absolute buffoon. Well, let's place that now, and this will start working again. Damn it. Well, shoot. So this thing has been draining. Oh, this one too. You right bastard. Well, I'm glad we came over here to check because good lord, man. This has hydrofluoric acid. This has hydrofluoric. Oh, this thing produced a bunch of hydrofluoric and put it in here. Ah, uh, so we're going to have to break all of this. Damn it. All right, we're good. Oh, okay. We'll just leave that as is since these are good now. Oh, man. We weren't producing that whole freaking time. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Well, we're good now. Oh, what a freaking thing. That was crazy. We don't make enough, uh, we don't make enough waste. We don't make enough nuclear waste right now, um, to make a bunch of antimatter, but what are we at? We're at 463 millibuckets of antimatter. Look at us. That's going to output it as an item. Um, we should have cables nearby. Yeah, we do. We can make a bunch of network receivers and transmitters, but I don't want to do that. I wish there was like... A more comprehensive upgrade for that if we do wireless transmitters everywhere this does it work on like regular exporters and outporters outporters importers does it work like across the network i want to see this so if we do this we hook this up wireless transmitter you don't mm, what if we put it on the network blog itself does that work and then i need to see this this sounds this this might look super silly but i want to see if this works this might look mad silly but i really need to see if this would work it doesn't look like it damn it okay well i mean that was a silly idea anyway so makes sense that it didn't work but you know what i can dream harold i can dream harold we're gonna put this here Fill this thing to auto output items so when it does get the antimatter, we will be able to send it to our system. Okay, this is not connected because of that. Hey, oh man, there we go. I think we're connected now. Haha, uh -huh. you can't touch me because I'm in a different biome. Is this doing the thing over here? Are both of you like struggling? All right, well, you know what? I'm just gonna take you off. So this one runs at full. Do you need more than 200 million it looks like you do oh it's the polonium that's super duper slow for you okay i see so it actually wasn't a bad thing for us to have both of these on here okay i just wanted to make sure uh which means we need to make this thing bigger which is what we wanted to do anyway let's go over yonder let's check this make fission reactor big so we completed number one we completed number two now we need to complete make fission reactor big so let's make this thing big uh how much fissile fuel are we producing right now 128 okay so we would be able to almost double our nuclear waste production 
our steam also we would be able to pump that up more which is good so let's go ahead and scram this uh we should have no nuclear waste in here so we should be able to break it and make it more bigger let's do that i want to make this thing huge we're going to make this thing more big i don't know how big we can like how tall we can make this thing but we're definitely going to need to make it wider out here and this way yep uh does it say the max size in here in the quest book maximum size is 18 by 18 by 18 damn what are we at right now we're only at eight well let's go taller so we're at eight and then we're a seven so we're seven by eight right now okay so we're gonna need to make more fission reactor casings probably a bunch and a bunch of reactor glass okay so we were at what eight tall so let's do an 11 by 11 should we just make it as big as we can Maybe, right? Maybe we just make it as big as we can. <laughs> this thing is going to be freaking massive, dude. It's bigger than a whole chunk. <laughs> this thing's bigger than a chunk, dude. <laughs> Holy crap, that's going to be so much. Oh my gosh. I think uh, we're going to do like double thick walls on this. Oh, maybe we do triple thick. Yeah, on each side. Well, I say triple, but what I mean is like one corner and then two. Holy crap, dude. This thing is freaking huge. Damn. Look how massive this thing's gonna be, bro. Holy crap. Okay, this is this whole cage done. We're gonna need so many of these, though. Ooh -wee. Control rod assemblies. 2,000. Oh, we don't even have enough lead. <laughs> lead into here. Yep, there we go. Yeah, because we, we need lead. We don't need freaking copper. How much do we even have? 234,000 copper. Yeah, we don't need that. I need lead. What we will do though, since we have a bunch of power, is we're gonna go into here. We're gonna take our thingy right here. Holy crap, look at the clouds down there. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna grab this. Ah, oh, I really don't want to move this. What's it at right now? 17, eight by eight. Oh, is this thing like bugged out? I guess we will move this gonna come way over yonder we'll place it here 64 by 64 Ooh and we'll do chunk by chunk okay you're good maybe now that we have that going for 64 freaking chunks instead of going through this whole process we just pipe it all into our furnace first or some of it so now that we have this down here this will eventually start pulling stuff. We will put an item cable here and we will pipe it to here. And these guys will work against each other. This will take in what it can and cook what it can, which is totally fine by me. Um, so it'll cook some of the stuff that we are getting. All right, side quests completed. Um, baby chicken. Damn it. Okay. Since our side quest has been completed, now we can come over here and finish this up. So let's grab all of these and these. Also grab our glass and this. Now we need to tell this to make more fission these thingies. And we're just going to make a thousand more. Bam. Yeah, look at that. That was so, that's so many. Holy crap, dude. Oh, what the frick? Why is it working? Huh? I'm so confused. Whatever, I'm just gonna break these anyway. I don't know why <laughs> it's working now, but oh, well, that saved me a lot of time. There we go. Well, it's multi-blocked now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need to probably make another one of these fission reactor ports. What's gonna happen if we do this now? Oh, oh we're equalizing with water. That's good. How are we over here with steam? Oh, it. okay, so it didn't go up there. That's fine. We're producing here. What if we up this by, let's do 100. Are we chilling? Is the water gonna equalize? No. Will it? Doesn't look like it will. Okay, so we can do 90 comfortably. All right, so six sinks, so each can do 15. And I, I know we're pulling some water from this uh, into here, but I'm not gonna I'm not going to calculate that with what we're doing. I'm just going to keep it safe. I'm going to do a safe number, and we'll consider um, 
we'll consider each of these 15 millibuckets. So we need to add more sinks to this setup. So we'll probably do them in between. So let's just set this up for that. All right, and let's cut this off. Let's scram this so we don't get any waste going crazy. Oh, this has a uh, 157,000 waste now. Sweet. Well, it's also because it's nighttime. So let's go sleep so it's daytime so that nuclear waste can get handled. And then uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to improve this a bit more. All right. This is, oh, this is already all gone. Damn. Is this all processed too? Wait a minute. Do I already have an antimatter shard? I don't. What the hell? Why, where'd all the nuclear waste go? Huh? It went into these and got pumped into here, which then got pumped into here. What? Do you have any polonium? What about you? No. Did it all go into here already then? I have no idea. All right, and we're dumping, we're dumping power. Well, shoot, Um, we scrammed this. So let's go ahead and make some more of these fission reactor ports. Okay, so this is fully good. Charge this up, it goes, it's catching back up. Burn rate, let's try 120. Oh, it's too much. Okay, so the math isn't directly correlated. Even with all those things inputting water. Well, at least we're at 100 now. Is this doing? It's doing. So we are producing. Oh, and these things still are taking in all of that nuclear waste. And it's still not enough. And we're still going up in fissile fuel. We just don't have enough water getting inputted. Are these pipes too slow? Are these faster? I don't even know. Um, well, let's scram this thing again. No waste. All right. Let's see what happens. Did that work? Doing it like that? We can do 105 now. Okay, so does outputting on multiple sides work then? What if we do 125? Because we're putting in 128, I think, right from here. Yeah, 128 per tick. This thing is equalized at 7.1 million power. This is good on water. Sweet. All right, so all of this is sustainable now. All of this is sustainable. This is sustainable. This is, uh, we could pump even more out of this probably, but we're not getting enough fissile fuel to do that. Like, I think if we go up to 128, we're going to be matched. Yeah. I mean, we can, we can do that. That's our max output. So we can definitely do that. Yep. Screw it. We'll just sit at max. Oh, we can't look at that. The water is slowly going down now. So let's go to 127. We cannot. Okay. So 125 is our safe limit right now yeah okay with the amount of water that we're getting put in that's crazy we really need to get like one of those water source blocks from uh evil craft maybe that will work uh, if we put it directly on there i don't know how that would work but yeah okay and this is producing a bunch of nuclear waste yeah we should be okay here we are getting antimatter we're up to 600 millibuckets we are 60 percent of the way there let's go home actually let's go over here See how much extra we've gotten in here? Oh yeah, look at that. A bunch of extra stuff. Let's check our storage, actually. I think we're probably going to be... Oh, we're up to almost a million. How's this? Are you still good? Yeah, we can store 573 million of that. Damn. Our netherrack is not getting stored because we won't have enough. Wow, that's the first boss in a long time. Perry the Bishop. We have 186,000 sulfur dust. We have that being stored somewhere, I believe. How you doing, Cluckington? You vibing? Yeah, I didn't. What's up with you? Yeah, that's what I thought, man. Hey, you keep cooling it then, all right? Let's check our fluid here. Yep, our brine's good. We have a bunch of freaking lava. Honey, mineral, X, fluid XP. Do we even need the lava anymore? I mean, not like I would like lava, sure, but what were you exactly using it for? I can't recall what we were using it for. Anyway, let's make some fluorite seeds. How many do we have? We have six. That should be enough. Okay, these are going to grow now. Let's go down here, and I need to finish this. We really need to get this done. I'd like to have it done. Oh, and uh, there was a comment about doing this properly. I think I know the way to do this. So one of these, this one here. So we're going to take the exporter off. The importer, do we need an importer here? Yeah, so we'll keep the importer on. And we'll put a crafter on this. Make it a gold crafter. We'll put a crafter on this. So rotate this onto there. We have the master crystal still in there. Now we need to set patterns onto here. We're gonna do that. We need to get do that, not that. We need the master crystal, apply that one. Then we will do this one, remove that, do this. Then we get the supremium. Then we come to this one here, and then we do this. Do that, click apply. This one's on X to C, so 
going to do that. X to C. So it'll uh, keep the master crystal. Now we need insanium. Need to add insanium to this. Do X to C. Apply. All right. Now for this, we can set up a pattern. And also we'll probably set up another interface. We already have one. We'll set up an interface here. Extract only. We're going to do mystical IUM here. Then we will set this 64. I don't really think we need to do that because it can't make it. So we'll, we won't do that. We'll do this. We'll do this. Then we have to go up top and make the patterns for these. And we're going to put those in that crafter there. We can do this and then we can make our own recipe like that. So now we have all these set up for processing. And now if we take these to the crafter here, it will send the items that we've designated in these patterns, even without sending the master crystal. And then we can tell this, this thing will now know how to use this, hopefully. And it should make all of these when we need them. I hope that this works. Uh Oh, this needs a, is it this one? Yeah, this one needs a crafter upgrade or crafting. Yeah, it needs a crafting upgrade. So it's able to make stuff. So then you see that, that went away. And now it's working on making the insanium or the insanium. Oh, this can't output fast enough. All right. So that should have worked and it should be crafting this now. Yeah, it is. Now, is this thing too slow? The crafter is too slow. What if we do that? What is this all full now? It is full. Okay, that's good. So it did work. Awesome. I want to go ahead and thank Graveburb1430 for the tip on the uh, RF tools crafter thing. I didn't even think about this, but as soon as you said it, as soon as you mentioned doing something similar to this, I was like, oh, that's exactly the solution that I was looking for. So thank you very much for mentioning that. You activated the thought in my brain. Now we have these storing and they're gonna, they'll auto craft, which is very, very nice. And what I could do as well. All right, well, we made every type of gym. 999, a whole ass 1000. Oh my gosh, it's making an antimatter pellet. Holy crap. Oh, oh, look at it. Would you just look at it? Oh my God. We did it. We, cre we created the impossible material. Oh my God. Would you just look at it? We got to the last quest. Come on. What is it going to be? Look at all those stuff. Look at all those stuff and thing. Z what can we get? <laughs> oh, what a scam. Oh, we got scammed, dude. Oh, but it's a whole, re it's a whole ass reactor. Oh, we still got scammed, <laughs> but we can place a whole ass reactor. Well, that's another 200,000 power that we got <laughs> for free. That's cool. Hell yeah. And our antimatter is going up a bit more, which is very, very nice. But what I do know is that things are going good. Very good. Okay. We have all of them now. Fill these in. We're waiting on the supremium. What about this uh, thing? The antimatter thingy. Super massive QIO drive. What the hell? What is this used in? What is this? What do you do? You turn stuff into stuff. Wool into quartz. Nether stars into hearts of the sea. Red wool into that. Tin into iron, beacons into end crystals, coal into diamonds, diamonds into emeralds. Oh, we don't need that. The golden apple, though, is pretty neat. Golden into enchanted, inert, nether stars. I need to look at those. Yellow wool into glowstone. There's a few interesting things on here. Eggs into dragon eggs, chests into ender chests, flower pots into nautilus shells, items into gas. What the hell? So how do you make these? A chemical bath or a pressurized neutron gas. A wither skull turns into an inert, and the inert can turn into a star. Oh, so we'd essentially be tripling nether stars for the skulls. Interesting. So then, so this is from Greg Tech. So we're probably going to want to do this. But we need ethylene and, and water. Well, we can get tons of ethylene. Then we get neutron gas. And then the neutron gas. Oh, no, sorry. We get hydrogen. Oh, yeah. Neutron gas in it with an inert star gets to 16 if we use neutron gas. Ooh. So this turns into one, which turns into neutron gas. And then the neutron gas turns into one into 16 and then 16 of them can go into here to turn into 16 well shit i think we found the way that we're gonna get all our nether stars <laughs> well shit uh otherwise oh this is how you make the greg star interesting that's a lot of stuff greg tech's gonna be something very rough for me to do quick travel to nearby blocks a teleportation unit interesting what is this used in what are the qio drives used for i have no idea what that's used for no freaking clue 
Well, let's make these because that thing needs to go again. We will come down yonder and do this. And then we're going to need... Oh, is it done with all these? No, it is not. Well, shoot. We're going to need to do two more of those. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> Give me all of these. It's not The system's not going to like that. It's going to be like, hey, what are you doing? I was using those. And I said, I don't care. I made you. Okay, so all of these are done except for four rows. As much as I would like to finish that, we are at two hours and 42 minutes. So, and also it's getting late. So I'm going to stop there. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate it so much. I feel like we completed quite a lot today. We finished all of this. We got the brine. We got more uranium seeds. And to follow that, we also got fluorite seeds to fix that. We made the fission reactor uber big. I think it's at max actually we could probably do one more because i think i messed up when i was building it on that front part um and i missed a block so we probably could build it out one more but we can't even max the thing out so i'm not gonna do that right now <laughs> next time we probably want to look into getting a better water source or something that can input water faster into that fission reactor because we really want to get more nuclear waste outputting so we can get more antimatter. Um, we don't really need the antimatter right now. I know we need it for some stuff with end game, like with uh, the ATM star. But other than that, I can't really think of anything else we need it for. We probably need to start pivoting into looking at other mods that we need to get into for the ATM star because we have a bunch of power. We probably want to upgrade our power storage over there, that small thing. Finish making the purple blocks that go in there and also just making it much bigger. So, because I would like to store around like 100 trillion power. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.